point, I'm ready to switch up my makeup routine. How can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go? Hi YouTube, my name is Niche. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for returning, girl. We appreciate you so much, okay? But yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know that you're here. Subscribe to the channel just because we're lit over here and support, you know, support your fellow sis. But anyways, yes, let's get right into the video. Thanks so much for being here. As you can see, we get into this Dollar Tree makeup. I did this whole face moisturizer, um, foundation, lip gloss, lashes, everything. Like skincare to the foundation to the lashes, everything I got from the Dollar Tree. And yeah, so let's get right into this. Um, let's get right into this video because I am too excited because I literally got everything for $1.25 and my skin is sitting. Sitting. Do you hear me? It's sitting. Like $1.25. I'm almost like questioning my decisions in life because how am I spending $30 on a full face from primer, moisturizer, brow, um, a sponge, a makeup sponge, my lip gloss, my lip liner, my eyelashes, $30, and this is the result. So, let's get into this video. I know you want to see because, girl, who's not gonna, who's not trying to save a coin? But yes, let's get right into this video. Thanks so much for watching again, and yeah, let's get into it. We are back with another video, and as we already got into it, we are doing the Dollar, St Dollar Tree Makeup Challenge, Dollar Store Makeup Challenge, whatever the Dollar Store is called by you. And so, yeah, so I went to the Dollar Store, and I brought you guys along with me, of course. So, I'm going to go ahead and play the clip, and um, let's go to the Dollar Tree, and then we'll come right back here and get started on this makeup. excuse my heater in the background it's cold here and I do have like a space heater blowing so you could probably hear like blowing in the background so I apologize for that but yeah let's get right into this video so I went to the Dollar Tree my local Dollar Tree here in um, my city and I found some stuff and actually the Dollar Tree has a lot more stuff than I thought they would have and I mean they have a lot more stuff anyways now that we are like in 2023 makeup is like a huge thing who's not selling makeup but yeah the beauty supply has like a lot more stuff now that it is um fashion beauty everything like that i feel like the dollar store and um the dollar tree just really knows how to keep up with the trends honestly they always have something i don't discriminate against the dollar store or dollar tree family dollar any of that because why 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 discriminate it's literally just saving you a coin so I went in, um, yeah, took y'all along with me. So we found some good stuff, honestly. I found like everything. I found a full face of makeup at the dollar store. The one thing I can say right off back, they have no color, like no color options, no shade range, nothing like that. That is the one thing that does disappoint me. Um, the fact that it's available at the Dollar Tree, uh, they don't have very many options. I feel like they had one, this one foundation that I got, this is the only shade they had. This is even, I don't know which way this goes, but I believe this is even darker than me. So we gonna finesse it and work with it and all that. So we can just work with what we got, but I think we got some good stuff and even maybe some like gems that, you know, like you could use instead of a high-end brand or something like that. Just girl, grab you what you need from the dollar store real quick. But yeah, so let's get right into this video and yeah. Don't forget to keep on watching, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and let's get right into this video. Prince Ivy, say hey. Say hey, YouTube. 
He is the smartest and most adorable, cuddliest puppy ever. Right. So if you hear him growling, barking, and everything in the background, that is another thing that you may hear because I have a new puppy. So he is very active and he gonna do his thing. So yeah, um, but yeah, so I spent about, back to the Dollar Tree makeup. I spent about $30 on makeup altogether. The only things that I'm missing is powder, like a setting powder and brushes. I think that's it. Setting powder and brushes, I believe. Oh, and lash glue. I didn't get their lash glue, I believe. I just wanna use my own lash glue because I think that their lash glue might be too, um, I don't know, I just don't know how it works. So I really rather, would rather stay, stick with my own lash glue. And then since I don't have any powder, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, one of my most ex inexpensive powders that I have here. And then I also did get like face stuff too. So that is included in the $30. I spent $30 total on face, like everything, like moisturizer. Um, I try to find like primer type things, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Y'all see what I had. So I did get this, like I said, I got some skin stuff. So hydrating shimmer serum. I'm gonna check it out and see what these are giving, you know. So just put a little bit. But yeah, because skincare is also very important when you do your makeup. So I figured why not get the um skincare portion there too? So y'all can see what is available and I can see what's available in um, at the Dollar Tree. Can y'all see? It feels good. It don't feel too oily or anything like that. Like this does not feel, you're not supposed to put the thing on your face. The dropper, don't let the dropper touch your skin. It's an esthetician rule. Yeah, it doesn't, it just add a little glow. I'm mad at that. Next, we have this for, uh, facial, facial moisturizer, hibiscus and rose that I found. So we're gonna put that on. I love to moisturize before I put on foundation, especially, I hate to put this on myself, but now that I'm aging, I have to moisturize. Like I have to, to well, you're always aging, but like now that I'm like significantly like not gonna be in my 20s no more you know your girl just needs to moisturize a little bit because your skin gets drier as you age and we don't want that i want my skin to look flawless the girls still think i'm 21 so 21 can you do something for me can you talk to the out do your thing 21 do your thing do your thing 21 okay so the moisturizer felt kind of thick it was it's not like it's a little greasy so keep that in mind then we got a facial mist which i'm going to use as my setting spray even though it's not a setting spray they didn't have setting spray but i'm going to use this facial mist to be act as And it smells really good, like cucumbers. Cucumbers, cucumbers, cucumbers. Oh, I am slightly concerned about this concealer that I'm realizing that I got. It's very light, like very, very light. So I may might have to mix this with one of my concealers, which I have like LA Girl and stuff like that, which I feel like they used to sell that at the dollar store at one point before LA Girl became that girl. And she went to Ulta and decided she didn't, you know, mess with the girls at the dollar store no more. So, I think we can work with this and we just gonna see, but you know, it's one of time two. The lighter shades aren't terrible, but I know this boy does not have to go potty again. I just took him outside. Okay, so this, oh, this is LA Colors though. Concealer, concealer correct. So it's not even a concealer, but I think we just, gonna do what it do yeah it's like really yellow i think it's supposed to be a corrector 
Oh well, we'll just use um, one of my LA Girl concealers. Oh, and then I actually did get this sponge. Do you remember when these sponges were like a thing? These silicone sponges. So I did get one of those because that is like the only sponge they had. They had a couple brushes, but I actually already have their brushes, which are like, um, what is it? Wet n Wild, I think they sell there. And I already have the Wet n Wild brushes that they sell. So we didn't even need to get those. I don't know how this is going to look. Correcting my skin. I've never been too good at the shade thing. So let's see. I don't know how I feel about blending with this. It's so weird. It just, it's not the softest. I guess. It's not hard, but it's not. It's not hard, but it's not soft. It's like squishy. A hard squishy. Okay, I think this looks okay. And blended in for the most part. Okay, so I thought about it, we didn't get no contour, so we are going to go ahead and use a contour that I don't use that often, which is L'Oreal Paris, because L'Oreal Paris is actually sold at the dollar store too. Um, I don't have nothing in here, <laughs> barely any colors or nothing. So they didn't even have contour, I don't think, or maybe I just didn't peep it, or I didn't think about it during that time. I really don't remember, honestly. Okay, so I went and contoured in the places that I see fit with that uh, L'Oreal Paris foundation stick. And then we're gonna go in with this, which is back to the dollar store, the Cream Shop Match Made Foundation. And they only have one color in this. Like I said, one color. All in the store, literally, <laughs> just this one color. So um, this is the color 33. Let me know if they sell the other colors in your Dollar Tree because they only one color, literally this color. They were all stacked up. But it's not coming out. No. too much on my hand. Get closer so you can see the coverage. It's actually not bad. I'm not mad at it so far for a dollar 25 i'm definitely not mad at this foundation but we gonna see how it lasts but yeah i can definitely um finesse my makeup for a dollar 25 i wouldn't be mad at that if my foundation is a dollar 25 i'm definitely gonna try to finesse it for somewhere else especially if it's good this is too, it looks really good. Like for a dollar 25. Get it off for Okay. I don't know, you let me know what you think. 
Cause even if you go to Walmart, you can't find a foundation for $1.25. Or Family Dollar. The fact that the Dollar Tree is selling their own foundation for a dollar <laughs> is great. They just need some more um, shades. Cause that's ridiculous. Okay. So that's all. I forgot about this. It's another skin product I bought from there. And it is a highlight, a glow, a liquid highlight, I believe. It says to mix into your favorite formula, dab over makeup or wear on bare skin. And it says shade FX drops. But let's just put this on our finger and put this right here. Like in the places you normally want to glow. Maybe I should do this after my concealer. If we need more, we'll touch it up. Because I'm definitely going to put a little more concealer on. And to blend this out, I think I'm going to use the other end of this. You can see that? Kind of. Right. I can see it. It really blends in really well. Like with your um, foundation, it doesn't look yellow or gold. Like it's just like a shimmer. It's not. It's not actually a color. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but you can kind of see it just a little bit. I'm gonna take this color corrector again because we don't have no. Um, you know, actual concealer. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna come back with this. I don't. I've never put a corrector over foundation, so we're gonna see what it looks like. What y'all think about it? I kind of like the yellowy tint that it has. This corrector. I feel like it adds um, even more of a brightening effect. Okay. Take this down the nose. Like so like that. Like this. Like so far so good for the Dollar Tree makeup. Because this is really, I don't know. I wonder if y'all can see what I see. Like how it looks, I don't know if it's because of the products we used beforehand, but it just looks really dewy. Like it looks really good. It's performing really well on my skin. Everything is just blending in like really well together. So. And I'm like, maybe I'm a little surprised because it's from the dollar store. I've never bought a whole foundation, a whole face from the foundation, from the foundation store, from the dollar store. So. Just a little shook. Like the dollar store is really giving the girls um, a face for $1.25. You get it? Like, why am I going to Alta Sephora to spend $60 on the same size bottle if it's giving me the same effect? But we don't know yet until like it lasts a long time. But right now, like I said, everything is given. It looks too seamless. Everything's a dollar. <laughs> any powder, um, any any type of powder actually i'm gonna go ahead with this wet and wild this is the most inexpensive palette that i have that is powder and i'm actually just gonna use this one for my um under eye and um setting powder too because i don't actually have any real i have this one 
um, mineral powder, but I don't, we might use this. I was gonna say, I don't really care for it that much, but we might use that if we don't get a bright enough under eye with that one. But this one will be for our uh, bronzer contour. So let's go ahead with that one. And I'll have to look next time to see if they carry bronzer contours, bronzer, bronzers or contour palettes at uh, the dollar store. Okay, so we are now setting with the Wet n Wild palette that I just showed you guys, and I that's the only one that I used. I just went ahead and used a small um, fluffy brush to go ahead and put my apply that onto my brows and all the areas that I see fit under my eye here, you know, um, to sharpen the contour line. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the brows next, actually. But yeah. I'm really not mad at this look. I don't know how many times I can say it, but it looks pretty freaking good. Pretty good. So, let's see. Let's see why I don't any of this. the brow gel from the dollar store. I'm gonna have to apply that. What does it have glitter in it? Just press them down a little bit after you apply the gel. It doesn't feel like you're applying anything at all, but it works. It actually, it feels non-greasy compared to like Morphe or, I'm trying to think of another brow gel, but like a non-greasy, it feels non-greasy. It actually looks like it's working too, which is. <laughs> okay. And then under my brow, I just like to add a little, a little highlight. So now we're gonna do LA Colors lash, or not lash, just um, eyeshadow. And now that I'm looking at this palette and opening it up, I'm like, I should've got one more palette. Like, why would I just get this? There's no colors on here. It's, they're basically all the same, except for like different shades or different versions of it. But we don't make it do what it do. I'm very neutral when it comes to eyeshadow anyway. So that's why I gravitated towards this palette. So let's go ahead and see. Let's look first. I was about to start there, but I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna take the Okay. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That one. Get some more. Not too dark. Do one more layer of it. Intensify it. We're gonna take the corrector actually and go over my lid just to add a lightness to it. I think that's good enough. This seems to go a long way. So take a bigger brush than that too. Mm -hmm. I think 
the light color in here and go over that. Go back in with this dark color again, the darker color of the palette, not dark color. And do our inner corner, our outer corners, and blend in that light color that we just did. I'm sorry for the angles. the darker color again to the under eye waterline that's pretty and I think that adding eyeshadow to the waterline just makes it complete your eyeshadow look complete um kind of brings it all together I don't know it's that one I only have two for that one that one And that one. This one looks more shinier than just a tiny see bit. Okay. I did a very small amount. So I have two blushes. They're both by Tony. Well, Tony is just not in the top. She's cute. The difference between the two. Going with this one. This looks fun. And I like this. I love this little palette. But they keep it open in the thing so it just stays. It doesn't close. That's they need to fix that pro uh, packaging malfunction. So let's apply some of the blush. Ooh, it's sparkly and it looks really pigmented. So we're gonna try to do it lightly. It's shiny. It is shiny. Shiny. Like really shiny. Is this one that shiny? I don't think so. Let's see if it gets shinier when you brush into it. Let's mix both of them up this one. Okay. So, I'm going to bring it up to my eyeshadow. What I like to do. This one is really shiny. It almost looks a little greasy. I don't think I like that about that. About this one. The other one. Oh, I have the wrong one. This um, electric jungle peach one is just way too shimmery for me, honestly. Like, it looks like I'm sweating off my cheeks. I did also buy a highlighter, but the way that these cheeks are set up already, I don't think I need a highlighter like at all. You can see that they are very shimmery, shiny. I'm highlighted, I'm glowing. I don't need this really. So the um, I think the lighter one, the Celestial Peach one was less shimmery than the Electric Jungle Peach. So keep that in mind if you ever want to grab them but this one is the highlight only and I don't know we can just test it out I guess and see what it's given before Ooh, it's like white too I don't know if y'all can kind of tell it's probably a terrible thing right here there we go 
everything is very pigmented it seems like for the most part so yeah like i don't think i need that on there just add it right there to match but yeah i don't think i need that on me honestly the highlighter almost looks a little dusty um i got the volume lash la color mascara Before our lashes, do you like putting on mascara before or after your lashes, or do you not use it at all? Because sometimes I'll be thinking like after it looks good, but I really don't know. And like when you do it after, it kind of like blends them in together. Like the mascara kind of like helps them set together and stick together, but do you really get every the people like all the lashes you need to get when you do it that way now we can do the lips that's basically the last part of the part of the makeup routine besides putting on our lashes after this so we just waiting for our mascara to dry and then put on oh, i'm gonna put on some more facial mist once i feel like my mascara is a little bit dry and these are the l'oreal paris lips that i was talking about too that they sell l'oreal paris at the dollar tree dollar store um i got these two lip colors they're both in brown one is in light brown and the other one is in dark so i was thinking to use these as a lip liner and then um i got some other lip glosses two lip glosses that this one is really pink they did not have that many lip gloss options either. That was another thing. Um, I'm very neutral when it comes to that. But I found this and it comes with a little lipstick. But this is pretty. So we don't see. We don't see. I think we should start with the darker one first maybe. It almost looks purple. So that's going to be put there. We're gonna try this one first. <laughs> that one looks brown. Yeah, that looks brown. So, and the fact that it has this tip on there, it already is almost like you can use it as a lip liner. Like they knew. They knew they wanted you to use it for more than just a lip color. It kind of has a a weird taste or smell, but it's very um it's almost like an oil, like a lip oil instead of a. almost like a, a lip oil instead of like a, a stick or a cream or anything like that I got too much on it I made my lips look dark that's okay yeah because it's not really Thing where I place it. It kind of just mixes and goes all over the lip, which I was hoping it was more of like a, a cream or something like that, that it'll, or, you know, just a matte foundation, or not foundation, but a matte lip um, formula that it would kind of stick but it's not really giving that. So let's try this bright pink. 
I see it is giving. I liked it the bottom one. How it looks on the bottom. Maybe we should try a different color on the top. I don't like how it looks on the top. These essentially are the same color. Like I wonder what's up with the and pink lipstick. No, I like it for the bottom, but I want to do something different for the top. <laughs> Let's take maybe this. like bananas banana gnarlated but I mean it's not really given like the lip gloss is not glossing like we needed to they had no lashes these are the best ones they have in my opinion so these are the ones that I grabbed so let's go ahead and I'm actually going to put these on off camera and I'm going to come right back and then we're going to wrap up this video and that'll be the end and I can get out of y'all head and y'all can enjoy the rest of y'all day. So yeah, so that wraps up the end of this video. We are all done. Can you believe everything costs a dollar twenty-five on my face? Everything. Like maybe I'm tweaking, but I don't recall ever doing a face like this. Like this is very, everything just went together so seamlessly. I think the only things I had a problem with was options, shade range, number one, biggest problem is shade range. Get more, like Dollar Tree, what are you doing? Get more shades. You have, your, your market <laughs> is a lot of, it's diverse. Like it's a lot of brown, black, you know, other people of color. So. I don't understand why they only have one shade in this particular foundation. But anyways, other than that, I would say makeup brushes, the foundation shade range, they really got to get that together. Um, they don't really have that many lip options, but like we made it work. What they have available, you can make work. You can make it do for you like in the best affordable way possible. Like, like I said, I got this whole face for $30 and yeah. I mean, you really can't beat that. And we're going to see how long it lasts. I'm going to keep this on for a few hours and I'm going to come back back. But other than that, there we go. So it has been six to seven hours since. It's been about seven hours, actually. Closer to seven hours, I think. Or over seven hours, actually. It's been about over seven hours. It's like 9.30 now. And I finished my makeup at about two so it's about over seven hours. And this is the final look after seven hours. As you can see, it's not really giving full coverage. Um, I don't, I think it was kind of giving buildable coverage initially. Um, since then I have eight and I have been editing and I haven't really been doing too much. I haven't been working out or nothing like that. But it, it looks like it's kind of sweating now. I mean, it's not terrible. I feel like it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So I'm not even mad at how it looks because it doesn't feel how it looks. So I guess that's better than nothing or, you know, and it's not terrible, but um, for $1.25, like I said, once again, y'all gonna get tired of me saying this. I'm not mad at it. Like, at all. I'm really not mad. <laughs> it's, I feel like it's pretty, um, pretty affordable and if they came out with some more colors, 
for their foundation and their concealer and things like that, I think that would be spot on. Like Dollar Tree, get on that. Like for real, get on that. I think that would be perfect. Like perfect. I love that they have makeup at an affordable price like that. Like that's crazy to me. I think my biggest takeaway from today's video would be the brow gel. I'm definitely gonna go back to that brow gel. A dollar twenty five. It is really good it's not greasy it's like very sturdy it's holding on it's staying on i just really like the way it feels and yeah the brow gel definitely going back to i feel like the blush is lasting a really long time it's very pigmented as you can see that's like one of the things you, you could really see then and out um and i really like my lip combo i like my lip combo that i came up with with the products that we uh use today so yeah i would say that would be it, other than that, I wish I had like a setting powder or something like that and a setting spray. I feel like maybe that would really have helped with the makeup lasting a little bit longer. But other than that, I give this makeup probably like a seven, five, I would say five, uh, a six, seven out of ten, maybe close to a seven. Uh, and then y'all gonna let me know if you go get you any of these products. Because yeah, I definitely am gonna be keeping that lip combo, those products of the lip combo in my um thing and i actually do like the corrector like i like this this tint this yellow tint on it so so yeah those are the things that i really do like and i really want to try to use this again in its own type of way so i feel like the dollar store definitely has some gems that could be utilized and even in a different way or maybe even mixing it with your other products so that it could last longer i think that would be really beneficial or even help and even then you're still spending less money you don't have to go out and spend a ton for like a super nice look but other than that that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching and yeah but yeah you guys say bye to avi he's such a baby i'm gonna get up out of here and i'm gonna see y'all and you have this dollar 25 makeup last because i'm excited i'm ready to see what is you know i'm ready to see because like at this point i'm ready to switch up my makeup routine and stick with this because it looks good it's not dry like my skin feels good and that's another thing i don't feel like i have a ton of makeup on like i feel great my skin feels great um but yeah so yeah i'll see you in a little bit say bye say